Hello, welcome to Flory Models Tool Review Time. Something a little bit different. Okay, we've got another fantastic tool from Dispain. Now, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. They actually manufacture a very, very high quality, high end, it has to be said, quite expensive as well, tools. But in my honest opinion, you do pay for what you get for. If you buy one of these, you're gonna buy right and that's it, job done, and away you go. In the past, we've looked at their other calls and I use to this day, still got them here, the Dispain side nippers. They are absolutely fantastic. They work extremely well. And I think they're the best nippers I've ever used in my entire life. So what do we got down here? As you can see, a very nice box. And when we say a box, we really, mean it. This thing's actually made of wood, weirdly. Okay, what this actually is, talks about it, it has a, it's basically a tool holder. Where is it? There it is. That's the one. That's what we're doing. It's basically a hand drill, an aluminium hand drill. Okay, and then obviously it's tungsten drill set points in there from 0.3 millimeter to 1.2 millimeter. All right, so it does come in this very, very attractive box. And we say, if you look inside, it is wood. It's proper, proper wood. Okay, so we got that. You are greeted by a lovely little manual, which actually says about thank you for choosing their products. Down in here, obviously you've got quick instructions. It's not exactly rocket science on this one of how to do it, but actually what you do get is the jig itself, you get the bits, and then we actually get a little Allen key as well. And you've got the little hex driver, whichever way you want to do it, because obviously you can use the Allen key or the hex driver. Do's and don'ts about it. Please be careful because you're going to stab yourself. And then you are greeted by this. And again, this is one of those things you're looking at a very good, high quality product rather than something cheap, okay? So to be honest, this is your actual jig itself, which holds it. It's nothing particularly fancy. It's got a very nice, which does pull off as well. It's held on by a little O-ring on there. But what this enables it to do is fit comfortably into the palm. And then when you twist it, it rotates. The whole point of this, you don't get any lateral forces which can shear off tungsten bits. You also get just down in here, I'm just going to use this little tool to help me get it out, a little driver. Okay, it's slightly got an offset head on it as well, so you can actually screw it in. Or again, you've got the Allen key, whichever's easiest to you. It's just a standard one mil uh, bit. And then obviously the set itself. Okay, so the set itself, as you can see, we've got these tungsten bits. And again, if we can get in, it's all a little bit get it without killing myself we can see we've got the drill bits themselves and as you can see by the catch them on the paper on the background these are very very small so I won't try and kill myself with a tiny one these come off obviously they fit into here you can have them at any point you want so you can just I would push it all the way home to be honest then we have this little guy which then tightens it up and holds it in there so it is really a very very fancy holder okay it's got that standard sort of shank size which i don't know what it is but we'll have a look at at the moment but then you take your plastic card okay something like this and to be honest we've got squiggles and wiggles all over it okay you can then normally with these you would do this the trouble is you get sort of lateral forces and it can wiggle and then snap so you come in from the top we just lightly place it down and then you can spin it because it's actually in the palm of my hand it's very clean and it makes a perfect tiny hole. I don't know how well you can see that. Okay, if we just do another one. And that is literally what it does. Okay, it's very straightforward. And then if we just pop one of these out, we'll just remove the bit. Let's try a bigger one. Okay, let's put a larger one of these down in here. And it is a quality item. The way that that feels in there, the way it feels in the hand and all the rest of it. So if we just do another one, and to be honest, I'm doing it into a bit of cardboard under here because I don't want to actually put it into my mat. But you can see, it just makes perfect holes. Okay, if you did want to, if we do it down on here without the cardboard. Okay, probably give you a, a better feel for it. But obviously it will cut down into your mat as well. So you just want to be mindful. But as you can see, it is a beautifully clean hole. Okay, and yeah, if we just put something white under it, you can probably see them a lot clearer now. Okay. And that is what it does. It is literally as simple as that. It is available uh, for replacing bits if you wanted to. And just to test the fact, I will get an unusual way of doing it. We have these. Okay, these are my normal ones that I do. These are dirt cheap, literally, a couple of quid out of China, and you're good to go. Okay, they've got them on here like this. The trouble that 
I find with these is, and you might notice by looking along, I've snapped a load of them off over the years. And I buy these very, very regular, and I break them all the time. The bits, again, when you're looking at the differences between the two, these aren't quite as nice, shall we say. These are obviously a cheaper product, an inferior product. Okay, but what I'm hoping is, is that with this, we can just pop this out. And then anybody else's will fit in here just the same. So there we go, that drops in there just like that. You can screw it up and then we'll just try them again. So you can see tiniest, tiniest little hole there is. Okay. And it puts in. What I really like about this is that the way it fits into the hand, because it's fitting in the hand like this, and then we're actually using a twisting action, you're not doing a lot of this. And this is when it breaks. You put that lateral force, the cross, into these, and they just shear off. They are very, very strong, you know, in the actual uh, vertical. But as soon as you put any sort of sideways motions into these, they break off and you're in a world of hurt. But again, when you see the tiniest thin one in here, this and do that up, you can probably see just how thin that bit is in there. It is absolutely microscopic, beautifully done. Then also the thing is, it's a quality product. This thing actually feels solid, absolutely fantastic. The other thing as well is that in here, there is just about enough room to get this in. It drops in with ease and slides in, but you can probably see how well that goes in. It is beautifully designed all the way through, designed to take these bits. Uh, and because you've got a good, strong holder, that's it, you'll be good to go. Now I know what you're gonna say, it's 20 quid. I can buy a pin vise and do just the same thing with a pin vise and everything else like that. Of course you can. Of course there's cheaper tools out there and I don't blame anybody for doing things like that. But this is one of those tools where you buy once and that's it, you buy right. You're never ever gonna have to replace this ever again. You are gonna need to have your shank bits on this one. And then just having a quick look at the old size on these. These are gonna be the, anything that has that standard, uh, what is it, one, two, three mil shank will fit perfectly into your little holder. So technically any of your sort of, you know, these bits that you might use uh, the, obviously these are the unitool ones. It's the same size, actually I don't think it is. It's going to 1.3. It's actually got a slightly, oh no, it is 1.2 as well. So they're exactly the same type of bits. It's just that, as you can probably tell, these are somewhat nicer in their design from the ones that I've got. And to be honest, these aren't the cheapest ones either. There is cheaper ones out there. You can pick them up for absolutely peanuts as well. But the whole point about the entire uh, Dispain range is that it's quality. It feels like some engineering masterpiece. If you're a little bit of a tall guru, you will love all of their stuff. Right the way down to, it comes in a wooden box. You know, that does seem totally over the top, but again, it's all part of the process. It's like iPhone unpackaging thing and everything else like that. But it is, the only thing I can just say is I highly recommend it because you just know this will just last forever. Whereas your pin vise and all the rest of it will get messed up and chewed and all the rest of it. This is just one of those tools that will just keep on going and going and going for the entire of your hobby. So it's one of those things, buy once, buy right, and your job is done forever. Okay, there is obviously you can do pin vices and various things out there and trying to hold on, but it's a messy way. This has just that cleaner, very nice with the tools, very easy to use. And again, I do like the way that it fits perfectly in my palm. It's got no thing. It's just obviously the shape of it as well. It's designed, it tapers in here so you can actually wrap your finger around it and you're not encroaching onto it or anything else like that. It is a very, very nice way of using it. I do like it indeed. So there we go. We do have to say these are available obviously in the UK and the rest of the world through Brevco. I'll pop those details up on there as well. They seem to be the sort of European importer for all the display range. But again, I have to say, highly recommend. I love it.